Sing us a song. Who will share a tale? I can't raise the sail yet. Here is a story I have not told a man, for it happened the only is ready last when needed. month. I was sharing a mead horn with a beautiful woman. When she... She, her sisters, and her mother all begged for your hand in marriage. Is that how this tale ends? Uh... Uh... Yes. Were you... Were you there? <laughs> Strike up a tune. A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned. Hold on, good Scott. What do you see, Sunan? Where were you? A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned, or message to be gleaned. Of my father like to take your country in the forest of lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had never felt a beast myself, and my father saw that this upset me. I was only a boy, but I had the dreams of being a man. So one winter, my father asked me to perform a bargaining ritual to the goddess Skadi. To improve his bow skill and snow sight. With glee warming my heart. Hush now. All right. Back. We we'll continue later. No need for this.
We're done here. Let's have a song. Let's hear a story. Not long before leaving for England, I made a solitary trek into the mountains east of Thornburg. I was looking for elk or deer or other game to bring home. But Say my luck is poor, and I could find nothing worth my arrows. Coming up over a rise, I saw a rounded mountain ahead of me, with a strange narrow slit in the earth running left to right. There appeared to be fresh water in this crevasse, which was strange, for it was on its side. As I approached, the ground rumbled, and the crevasse shuddered. Then it opened, as wide ah, as a lake, and ringed with color. Stepping back to take in the view, I realized with a shock what I was seeing. The Eye of Jormungandr. The World Serpent, yes, he sleeps near old Thornburg, blessing us with his dreams. Oh, if we could return there now, I would show you Set the place. The One day, maybe. No other One man. day, I will show you the place. Sing, my ravens. You sing. Oh, yeah. The early days of the feud between Kyokbe and the in the Raven Clan, there was a mad berserker called Kiar Robo. Kiar had pledged his battle fury to no king or yard, oh, would give his oath only once each winter, for reasons nobody could fathom. One year, Kiar's sister, Thura, was married to Kyotve's brother, Alrek, and soon Kiar was often seen Go. in the company of that soon. man. But soon after, word came from Kiar. We'll Abel. pick up from there. Were you at the good party? Soon after, word came to Kiar that Alrek had abused his sister. When he asked Thora about this, she told him, It is true. So Kiar invited Alrek on a hunting expedition. When they were away, Kiar slew Alrek and pulled off one of his arms. When he returned to camp, Kyotve asked where his brother was. Kiar shook his head and held out his hand. Which was an arm. Run up to the Your brother bid me give you this ring, Kyotve. Confused, Kyotve took the ring, and with it came the entire bloody arm. Your brother pledged his oath to hell herself, Kyar laughed. Then he turned and departed. He was never seen in those parts again. Sail! Catch the wind! Sing us a song. We need an epic tale. You might not be aware, but I am a man with considerable shipbuilding Sing craft my in my youth.
Welcome! I hope to see you again soon. Your horse will thank you for being a more skilled rider. Until next we meet. I will see you later, friend. I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a bracket will surely be fun. Ah, quit to bite back. Be careful, young Earth. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling, and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Earth. Ha! <laughs> I'm impressed. You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised, I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. Aid me, be my eyes.
Who stands before Ivar Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! <laughs> now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. <laughs> hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy. To run amok to the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Reptar. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgred sent a Vergeld your way. Enough of your noise, Tona. We have plans to devise. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. Shut your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shellwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. It sounds like you'll be a king in name only. A puppet. I am doing my part. I hope you have come to do yours. We're going to need all the help we can get for what comes next. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. 
So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Cheerwolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best for the people of Mercia. And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily, it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. Lively town. Quite a lot to see here. I'll gather my things and meet you in Tamworth as soon as it's over. I'll gather my things and meet you in Tamworth as soon as it's over. to sing a song. Helps me pass the time. Come here, Raider. Have a sit with me. Hear a story or two. That song, 
You have spent some days in a longship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt-blasted hair? Here's all that seawater. Feels like hay now. Better keep away from the horses, then. <laughs> you are very quick. And sturdy, by the looks of you. But you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there in Repton. I would have recognized you. I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. Too old, too frail. Dead weight, as they say. I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Not many of us can say they lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Or have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas. Write your songs and bellow out in the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. I would like to add to it. Take this key. And if you find yourself in Repton, seek out my quarters near the docks. There is a large tree out front. Inside you will find a few of my most prized items. Take them. I no longer have any need. You honor me. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. Odin guide your way, young drinker. I should keep an eye out for this old raider's home if ever I am in Repton. Spread your wings, Sunan. Some of us are staying behind, as I hear it. Half the army's already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. It's our lot to look after this place now, to protect her. Shame. Wanted to this see... must be that old raider's place. He said he wanted me to have his things. Told by drunken heroes. This crate is filled with songs. Must have taken a long time to write them all out. I should return this crate to the old raider.
not everything. This crate is filled with songs. Must have taken a long time to write them all out. I should return this crate to the old raider. everything. This crate is filled with songs. Must have taken a long time to write them all out. I should return this crate to the old raider. These are some trinkets you left behind, old man. Ah, you've come back! Why are you wasting your time with me? This crate has all of your written songs. This is not a gift I can accept or repay. You will want to revisit these someday. They should stay with you. I had forgotten all about them. Something to work at on this new journey of mine. You have only the setting sun to tell you when to stop. And maybe not even then. That is twice you have earned my admiration. Please, tell me your name. Eivor. Eivor. If the gods will it, I will find my seat at Odin's table before you. And there I will speak of you so that when the time comes to claim your seat, they will greet you by name. Farewell. <laughs> 